My name's Rich Harrington. I'm the product manager for Milio Photos. And I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about a new integration we have coming a little bit later this spring. We're excited to announce that we're adding support for Frame.io Camera to Cloud and Frame.io Storage. This means a lot of really awesome things. Now, coming to Milio Photos, we'll be expanding the capabilities of the tool in many ways. And one of those is support for Frame.io. With Adobe's Frame.io Camera to Cloud technology, it's really easy to collaborate and connect cameras directly to the cloud to really speed up workflows. And with the new integration coming to Milio Photos, it's now possible to connect to any creative application as well as local storage. Currently, Camera to Cloud integration is included in some cameras from RED and Fujifilm, but there's also external recorders and other options available for other cameras and more things are in the works. Milio Photos will be shipping three different integration tools to make it easier to work with your Frame.io storage. First up is the Frame.io folder importer. This allows you to connect to Frame.io and then see all of the projects that have been shared with you. Then you can simply browse and look for different content, find it easily, and be able to import to any of your drives. There's other great options when you import, including the ability to rename, remove suspected duplicates, and apply keywords. Plus, once it's imported, you can seamlessly hand off to other photo tools and to storage. I'll show you more in just a moment. We're also adding a project watcher. This gives you the ability to log in and then see all the projects that you're collaborating on. Once you choose a project, Milio Photos will periodically check in and look for new media. As new photos and videos are uploaded, Milio Photos will be able to detect those and then download a copy and mirror it to your local storage. This has added benefits because it also means that you can then work offline or have extra backup copies. And once you're done editing or working in another software tool, Milio can detect the new files and easily upload them to Frame.io. You could post them back to your project as a new version, making it easy to collaborate with others or to get feedback. And let me show you one of these integrations and how it's going to work. I'll switch over to Milio Photos. If you're not familiar with Milio Photos, it's a great tool for browsing and finding your content quickly on all of your devices. I'll show you how it works. To bring in media from Frame.io, just click the Add Media button. Then choose to access from an online service. You see that Milio supports many different services for import. Here's the Frame.io folder importer. With just a click, I'm asked to log into my Frame.io project. And if it's the first time you've logged in, you'll have to validate with a password. Then click the Allow button. Now, Milio Photos will connect to your Frame.io projects and serve up a list of all of the projects you're able to access. Here, I have many different projects that I'm collaborating on. If I find something I'd like to import, that's simple. Notice I can grab an entire project or open things up and drill in a little bit more. I'm gonna to go to a folder here that contains media that I've been using when testing camera to cloud. I've been shooting on one of the newer Fujifilm cameras and have had access to this during the beta test period. Let me choose some media here. I can select a day, choose it. Next, I'm asked where I'd like to store it. I can access any location on my drives. These are all folders that have been added to my Leo Photos. I'll put this in my To Organize folder and select. Also notice that you can control things. For example, skipping duplicate files that you've already imported. I'm going to turn this off for just a moment because I do want to do a duplicate import. I can also do things like assign copyright information, reorder folders, rename files, or add any keywords on import. When you're ready, just click Copy Now. You can track the progress up here in the Actions menu. You can watch the import occur in real time. Milio Photos can connect to Frame.io and pull down both the JPEG and the full quality RAW files that have been posted, plus any sidecar file information in the XMP. Let me just right click and reveal this folder. 
you'll see here several shots from a recent trip to Panama. You're able to access all of the critical information. Here I have the full RAW file. Now I can edit in Mylio Photos with essential tools or hand off to any other creative software. I'll just choose Photo Open With. You can see now with Mylio Photos, Frame.io storage can be connected to any other editing app that you have on your system. For example, I can hand off to Adobe Photoshop. Now I can choose to send on the adjusted image from Mylio Photos or even hand off the original RAW file. The RAW file seamlessly opens up in the tool and I can work with the files as needed with full control over all the raw data. Once I'm all done, I can save those changes and generally I'll put them back next to the same location. There we go. And let's save that as a high quality TIFF file. And I'll click save. I'll switch back to Mylio Photos. It now scans your drives for any changes. And you notice that the new file is automatically imported. Let me take a moment to explain a few benefits here. First up, with the Frame.io folder importer, it's super easy to see media that you have access to. You can then add that to your library. Your Mylio Photos library can contain many different things, including files from smartphones and any folders that you have on different machines. You see that Mylio Photos connects all of your devices together in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Notice here that I've got multiple Macs and PCs all talking to each other. I can see when there's a file needed. For example, that file I just edited is being handed off to a Dell computer that's in a different part of my facility. I have access on my mobile devices. And once they're turned back on, my iPhone and iPad will begin to sync. And you can connect to other types of backup drives as well, both cloud and local. Here, I'm syncing the media to local storage and a Synology NAS. What's great about this is as you import, you can bring in from Frame.io once and then easily hand off to any other storage that's part of your network, allowing you to sync to locally attached hard drives on different computers. Additionally, Mylio Photos offers really innovative ways to search and find things. For example, here's our new filter tool. Now, what I'm showing you isn't completely finished, but we're just putting on the polishing touches and getting ready to ship it in a few weeks. You'll notice, for example, that I can sort by all sorts of specific information. For example, I can scroll down here and sort by specific types of cameras, seeing all my photos from every camera I've ever shot on, or drilling down to super specific levels. With just a click, I'm now seeing media from the X-H2S from Fujifilm, which is a camera to cloud enabled camera. I also, for example, can sort by file type, seeing just photos or videos, for example, or even searching by specific file extensions or other information. But what's really great is the ability to filter using AI. Let's go ahead and reset this for a moment. On that recent trip to Panama, I had a chance to photograph wildlife. Again, this isn't the final UI. We're adding some search tools to make it easier to find everything, but it's getting really close to done. Let me twirl down animals here, for example, and just scroll to monkey. With just a click, I see all the monkeys I've ever photographed. Remember, that can be combined with the specific camera filter. Let's choose the Fujifilm RAF file format. And you see it gets narrowed a bit. Maybe I want to be even more specific though, not just monkeys, but maybe the capuchin monkey I had a chance to photograph or the howler monkey, the marmoset. And with all of these filters, you can actually customize the AI, allowing for more matches, but slightly less accuracy or being more specific and tighter results. This is really useful. Besides the quick filters and the smart tags, you're also going to get very precise control over your storage. When you browse in the folder view, for example, you'll see that you have an interactive file tree. 
This makes it easy to quickly navigate. So maybe I'm browsing my library, and here are some of those camera to cloud projects that I've synced. As I discover things, I can start to move them around. For example, just click to select a range of objects here, such as these butterflies. Now I could just make a new folder called butterflies. Create, grab those, and just drag them in. And you see it easily moves. Plus, as you select objects, it's possible that the smart tags are going to actually know a little bit about that content. Notice, for example, here, it recognized cloudy, hill, lakes, mountains. And with just a click, I could start to promote those to actual keywords that are embedded in the files. And I could manually tag things, such as adding Panama. There's a lot more to Mylio Photos, but I think you'll find this integration truly useful. Remember, with the folder importer, it's easy to browse all of your Frame.io projects and choose specific folders to import with advanced options for renaming, auto organization of folders, excluding suspected duplicates, and adding keywords on import. Using the Mylio Photos Frame.io Project Watcher, you can also easily stay logged into a project. And as new media is captured in the field or the studio, and auto uploaded with the great camera to cloud technology, Mylio will access that data and pull it down to your local storage, providing offline access and additional backup. And using the Mylio Photos Frame.io version media uploader, you'll be able to republish edited files back to your collaborators or teammates for commenting, review, and distribution. The key benefits here are truly useful. Mylio Photos is fully compatible with Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, Windows, and Android. This means you can browse and access your media from all these devices, including Frame.io Media and many other sources. You can browse, organize, edit, and share using the device that works for you, wherever you are. And Mylio Photos gives you the ability to work offline. When your devices get a connected internet signal again, then things like shares or moves or edits will sync across all your devices. You also get the ability to download files only once and then work and share faster with your teams. Mylio Photos makes it easy to connect your Frame.io account to direct attached storage. These hard drives can offer a significant speed boost, particularly when working with large photo and video files. And it cuts down on frequent uploads and downloads to the cloud via the internet. Plus by mirroring to your local storage, it's easy to access files when you're traveling or don't have access to high-speed internet. Both Frame.io and Mylio Photos have really secure storage controls. For example, your Frame.io projects are invite only. So in Mylio, you'll only see the Frame.io projects that you've been invited to. And with Mylio Photos, if you're syncing to multiple locations, Mylio will transmit all of that data in a secure and encrypted state from one device to another directly. You could set up device syncing rules based on those same quick filters and smart tags you saw earlier, giving you precise granular control by the folder or even metadata level, controlling what gets synced to any drive connected to your Mylio Photos account. Here's the great news about what I just showed you. It's coming really soon. The core features that you saw with the Mylio Photos Frame.io support and additional features will roll out through the summer. Mylio Photos free plan includes the folder importer and version media uploader, plus all those great tools you saw for organizing things with quick filters and smart tags and the quick folder browser to manage and move your media are all included in the free product. If you step up to a Mylia Photos Plus paid plan, which is $99 US a year, this will give you access to the Project Watcher, as well as truly powerful tools that allow for drive syncing, and an automated 321 backup workflow. If you'd like to be some of the first people to get access to this or to learn more, just head over to mylio.com slash frame.io. Thanks again for checking this out, and we hope you're excited about some of these great new tools coming to Mylio Photos. We've been hard at work on them, and we're really excited by the Frame.io camera to cloud technology. Thanks for watching.